Summertime. It's almost upon us. Millions will be heading out to foreign lands for vacation, adventure, tourism, or just a beautiful beach. But how about hip surgery or a multiple bypass? A growing number of tourists are doing just that, combining holidays with health care. And that's because a growing number of countries are offering first-rate medical care at third-world prices. Many of these medical tourists can't afford health care at home. The 40 million uninsured Americans, for example. Others are going for procedures not covered by their insurance. Infertility treatment, a facelift. And the hospitals in these faraway countries are glad to have these medical tourists. In fact, they're courting their business, trying to get more people to outsource their own health care. Thailand, an exotic vacation land known for its Buddhas, its beaches, its brothels, the bustle of Bangkok. But for people needing medical care, it's known increasingly for Bum Run Grad Hospital, a luxurious place which claims to have more foreign patients than any other hospital in the world. It's like a United Nations of patients here. They're cared for by more than 500 doctors, most with international training. The hospital has state-of-the-art technology, and here's the clincher, the price. Treatment here costs about one-eighth what it does in the United States. That's right, one-eighth. Kurt Schroeder is the CEO of Bumrungrad. This place where we're sitting right now is the number one international hospital in the world. It's sort of ground zero. I haven't heard anybody yet who's told us that they take more than 350,000 international patients a year. One of them is Byron Bonniewell, who lives 12,000 miles away in Shreveport, Louisiana, where he owns and runs a campground for RVs. A year and a half ago, he had a heart attack, and his doctor told him he really needed bypass surgery. They told you you were going to die. Yeah, they did tell me I was going to die. You did not have insurance? Did not have insurance, no. Right. He estimates he would have had to pay over $100,000 out of his own pocket for the operation he needed a complicated quintuple bypass. And did you actually decide not to do it? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I guess I'd rather die with a little bit of money in my pocket than live, live poor. He says his health was deteriorating quickly when he read about Bumrungrad Hospital. I was in my uh, doctor's office one day having some tests done, and there was a copy of Business Week magazine there. And there was an article in Business Week magazine about Bumrungrad Hospital. And I came home and went on the internet and made an appointment and away I went to Thailand. He made that appointment after he learned that the bypass would cost him about $12,000. He chose his cardiologist, Dr. Chad Wanishiwad, after reading on the hospital's website that he used to practice at the National Institutes of Health in Maryland. That's where he practiced for a number of years. Right. Every doctor that I saw there has practiced in the United States. You never called him? No, never talked to him. <laughs> But three days after walking into the hospital, he was on the operating table. Two weeks later, he was home. How are you feeling? Wonderful. I wish I had found them sooner, because I went through a year. I was in bad shape. I couldn't walk across the room. How was the nursing? How was the treatment? <laughs> I found it so strange in Thailand because they were all registered nurses. But being in the hospital in the United States, you see all kinds of orderlies all kinds of aides, maybe one RN on duty on the whole floor of the hospital in Thailand. I bet I had eight RNs just on my section of the floor alone. First class care. That's what the hospital prides itself on. It's first class medical care, which it can offer so cheaply because everything is cheaper here, particularly labor and malpractice insurance. You can get just about any kind of treatment from chemotherapy to plastic surgery. Kim Atwater from Bend, Oregon, was on vacation in Thailand when she decided to combine sightseeing with a bit of an eye lift. Were you at all nervous about having an operation done in Thailand? Yes. Yes, I was somewhat hesitant of having any, t any type of an operation in a foreign country, and it turned out to be just beyond my expectations. But not beyond her budget, $1,500, and that included a private room. How would you describe the difference between this place and an American hospital? It's much nicer than any that I've ever stayed in the United States. The rooms look more like hotel rooms than hospital rooms, and that's no accident. 
The idea was to make the whole hospital look like a hotel, and a five-star hotel at that. Take a look at the lobby. Boutiques and restaurants to suit every taste and nationality. Part of the concept was to create an environment when people came in, they didn't feel like they were in a hospital. What's wrong with, I mean, this is a hospital. What's wrong with looking like a hospital? Because nobody really wants to go to a hospital. Would you go back? Oh, I'm going back this fall, yeah. Why? I'm going back to see my doctor and have a checkup again. You'll have to take a 22-hour flight, but there's even an upside to that. Is it true that I can pay for a checkup with frequent flyer miles? Well, uh, we do have a very unique relationship with Thai Airways, so you can buy a ticket, you can use frequent flyer mileage to get your checkup. Whatever it takes to get your business. And this is not the only hospital trying to outsource health care, is it? Oh my goodness, no. <laughs> we certainly have not gone unnoticed. Uh, there are hospitals throughout Asia, throughout India.